Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's talk about the polarity of the induced voltage. We know that the polarity changes depending upon which way the current changes and which way the, uh, the flux changes through the second inductor. If the flux increases or decreases, the polarity changes. But what will be the actual direction of the polarity? Well, that we can't really tell from the circuit because it depends on the physical connection. So as we indicated here, since the polarity of the induced voltage depends on the physical structure of the windings, depending upon how it's connected, the polarity convention is as follows. So we have to come up with a convention on the circuits to indicate which way they are connected. And the, the convention is by using these dots right here. If the two dots appear on the same side as the inductor, then we have a straight across what we call induction. But in other words, the polarity induction will be positive so v2 will be positive relative to v1 so we have the indication of v1 like this and the indication of v2 like this then you can see the polarity is the same when they have the two dots there of course you couldn't tell by looking at the circuit unless you actually knew about how the circuit was connected but this is at least how we indicate it through a convention when we draw the actual circuit and then you can see here when the voltage for V1 is like this and we have the dots across like that, then you can see that the polarity of the voltage V2 is opposite to the polarity of voltage V1. And we can then say that V2 is equal to the negative of the mutual inductance times the rate of change to the current in one with respect to time. Remember, that's what we call the mutual inductance here and it works both ways. And then of course, if we have the current in this circuit, the second circuit, then again you can see that the, that the voltage, if this is voltage uh, 1 plus or minus, and this is the voltage 2 plus or minus, notice that when the dots are crossed from one another, then we can see that the voltage induced in 1 is opposite in polarity to the voltage induced in 2. And then if the dots are on the same side, we can see we have voltage 1 here, and we have voltage 2 there, like this. You can then see when the dots are on the same side, then we know that the polarity of voltage induced in 2 is equal to the polarity of the voltage induced in 1. And so that's simply by convention, and that's what we're going to follow from now on. That is how it's done.